Uh, I've been um, finding it a challenge to focus and I'm finding it a challenge to put completion energy into my life. And so I'd like to really understand what that's about so I can solve it. Okay. So what can you share with Brooke about completion energy and focus? Oh yeah, I'm seeing you. You're wearing sunglasses because there's all these bright lights that are like psychedelic lights that are flashing and it's almost painful because it's, it's just so intense. So all of that's going on outside of you. But the interesting thing is behind those sunglasses, there's a peacefulness because you're protected from it. You're, you're present to it, you're there with it, and yet you're removed from it. That's the energy I'm feeling, which is, I don't know if that makes sense. But you've got the ability to step outside of that and not be touched by it. So what does that look like? That looks like you putting on that protective bubble of energy, that egg bubble or, you know, whatever that is for you. Do you have something like that that you use? Um, I can. Lately, I've been um, actually praying the goddess version of the rosary, which uh, is quite an astonishing journey. Um, and I'm completing that. I'm committed to, to a long process of doing that. Um, it's the other things. Uh, it's the where to begin, where to start with my business, with my creativity, all that kind of stuff. <laughs> I just got a picture of you playing pin the tail on the donkey. <laughs> <laughs> it's just pick something and do it, Brooke. <laughs> yeah, that's probably it. But when you said rosary, I got this visual of you as you're praying the rosary, you're winding it around your body. That's your protective bubble. Ah. Oh. You're creating, and your words, your words are coming out, and they're winding around your body, your intention. That's your protective bubble. You were doing it and not even realizing it. So if you do that consciously, intending it to protect you, that's your tool. You've got it. That's wonderful. Thank you. Yeah, it's beautiful, isn't it? Anything else? Uh, well, uh, it's um, just what to what to focus on for the next three months, I guess. Or if there is a possibility that this business can be su financially successful. I know it's intentionally successful, but so is it highly likely that Brooks' business will be? successful in the next three months no sorry yeah. is it highly likely that it will ever let's just ask ever that's a good one successful financially yeah because that's your intention that's your reality that you're creating you just haven't it's like you're putting a puzzle together and you haven't got all the pieces yet there's some missing pieces brooke right that's what i'm seeing you're assembling this puzzle so you're your baby that you dreamed up here is incomplete and you're still gathering pieces and you've been slowed down like everybody has right now. But the gift of that is the time and the expansion to go inward, to relax and seek out those pieces. So, and I'm feeling it's connected to the rosary prayer that you're doing. That's, That's like leading you on. And now I'm getting, What's that, that journey that people do, the El Camino? I'm getting that connected to it, metaphorically, not necessarily literally. It's like that for you. That's fascinating because one of the groups I'm in, uh, spiritual groups, has said that we are on a collective pilgrimage right now. Yeah. All of us. That's the energy that I feel of what you're going through. And you know, that is a really difficult journey. It really makes you go inside and find out what you're made of. It's yeah. confronting who you are at soul level, right? Thank you. That's deep. So you've got this amazing journey in front of you. So it's just keep putting one foot in front of the other. You're doing fine. Stop second guessing yourself, right? Just flow, more flow, more love for Brooke. Thank you. You're welcome.